So we have to say hello to a woman. How do we put away our gun? Put away the gun. Uh. Oh well. There, this way. I'm hello. done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? You asshole. Can't just, can't just ignore me, man. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting <laughs> powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. Okay. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh -huh. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Oh. I don't know if we're gonna help Ringo because I don't want the powder gangers on my ass. I mean, no, he sounds like a nice guy. Uh, I don't know what to do. You know what? You guys decide what we do. Should we help the powder gangers? Should we help Ringo? Should we just ignore them all? You tell me what to do and I'll do it. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. <laughs> I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Does she have a mustache? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I would think so. I actually haven't had talked to him yet, so... <laughs> Never mind. Um. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. 
I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Interesting. Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I'm sure I've got something you like. Can I sell things, please? Like metal spoons? <laughs> I see. Okay. <clears throat> Don't want any bobby pins. Yeah, whatever. Don't want you. just guessing about what's important and what's not. I'm just guessing here. Pressure cooker? Oh man. I don't know. Okay.
Alright, uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Sure thing. Be careful out there. Alright. Bye bye. Well, she was nice. I don't know what to do. I mean, I think that arrow leads to Ringo. I don't know if I want to help him or not. Should I sleep or something? Do I need to sleep? I mean, I probably do. I just... <laughs> Silly question. Hey, man! What's doing? Yo! If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, that's Doc's house. Okay. Where's the general store? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just take a peek. <laughs> 